Hello and welcome back. The challenge about this exercise is that you should be able to see it in your mind. You should be able to visualize this object in your mind, turn it to the front view, turn it to the side view, turn it to the top view. To help you visualize it, let me show you an animation. This is how the object looks like in isometric projection. The trick about this type of exercises is that you should visualize it and do a little sketch in the corner of your page. Now let's check out the front view. As you can see, it is exactly the same as in the question. This is the top view. And this is the side view. The broken lines in the question tells us that there is a surface hidden behind this view. Now we must find the dimensions for the create of the object. To get the length, we must add 30 plus 20. To get the height, we must add 10, 20 and 20. And to get the depth, we must add 15 plus 5 plus 10. Now let's draw the object. Again, we will have to draw our two double lines. The first one here and the second horizontal line here. Our starting point will be right there, A. Before drawing the crate, let's find its dimensions. The length of the front view will be 20 plus 30, which equals to 50. The depth will be 15 plus 5 plus 10, which equals to 30. And we can get the height from the front view, which equals to 50. 10 plus 20 plus 20. Now let's draw the crate. So place your ruler on the second horizontal line. Then slide in your 30, 60 set square. Then you draw a long line for the length. Rotate. A long line for the height. And a long line for the depth. Now let's use a small ruler to mark out the dimensions. So for the depth, it will be 30. So 3 centimeters, put a dot on 0. For the length, it will be 50 millimeters, 5 centimeters a dot on 5 centimeters and for the height same 5 centimeters place the ruler on the second horizontal line make sure it is straight then we draw the verticals one line here and the other one at 5 centimeters right there let's place our ruler like this we will copy this line Okay, check if it's straight. Then we slide till we get to the height. And we draw a similar line right there. Now, same thing for the other side. Place your ruler on the second horizontal line. Make sure it is straight. Slide your ruler. Then draw your line. You can draw at the back too. Now again, I will have to copy this line and do a similar one at the back. We slide and draw the line. Now that we are done with the crate, we will add some guides which will help us draw some construction lines. This part right here is 10 millimeters, so let me count 10 millimeters and add a dot. Then it is 20 millimeters, so again let me place my ruler right there and add a dot at 2 centimeters. On the top it is 3 centimeters, so let me add a dot. Now let me make some construction lines from the dots 
I just made. So ruler on the second horizontal line. We slide till we get the one centimeter and we make a little construction line here. Same at two centimeters. A short one here. Turn the ruler and one line over there. We will draw a construction line at the back. This is one centimeter, so let me use my ruler to make some construction lines. So let me use my ruler to mark out one centimeter. Put a dot. Ruler on the second horizontal line. Slide. And we will make a construction line right there. Now let me add a marking for this one, which is one centimeter right there. Put a dot. There is one more dot that I need to put on this drawing. This part right there is 15, so let me mark out 15 millimeters. Put a dot. Now let me complete some small parts in the drawing. So we will get a line on the top, right there at 2 centimeters. And at 15 millimeters, we just did, we will have a dot. Now I will have a vertical line right there. The one centimeter thickness of the drawing. We will now have a line at the one centimeter thickness. Right there. Now for this thickness, it is 20. So let me mark out 20 millimeters. We add a vertical line for this one. And we will have a line there. Another one here, one at the bottom. One vertical line here, and one in the front. We will now draw a vertical line at the back. As you can see, we have nearly completed the drawing. We have one line at the bottom. We will complete the back later. Let me use my black pen to complete the outlines of the drawing. We will complete this part of the object in a moment. Don't worry about it. Let's complete the outline first. This is 12 millimeters. Let me mark it out at the back. 12 millimeters. Then I will have to count 16 millimeters. Again, 16 millimeters. Put a dot. Now let me put a construction line here at the 16 millimeters and one at the 12 millimeters.
we will use the top part as a reference and I can use my dark pencil right there and complete this part and the two verticals these two lines dark as well Let me correct in this back part a little bit. And it needs to be one centimeter. So let me put a dot. And complete the drawing. There you have it. We have now completed this exercise in isometric projection. You don't need to erase any of the construction lines. Thank you for watching and see you next time.